Oh, hello there. Welcome to your 37th physics video. And in this video, it's actually probably going to be a real quick video because I just want to go over some terminology real quick, some other variables that we're going to need whenever we talk about waves. And we're going to be using these in a lot of different formulas as well. So the first, uh, I want to say, term that we use whenever we talk about waves is just the speed of the wave or the wave's velocity. Now, I don't really need to explain to you guys you know what velocity means because if we go ahead and assume that we're looking at the ocean alright ocean say so guys don't forget what I said and we look at all these waves right here then of course the velocity is how fast a wave is traveling simple enough so a wavelength is the next property that we look at now wavelength is a topic that a lot of people get confused about because if you're just looking at these waves right here you'd be like okay do I measure from here to here or from the bottom to the top of the wave what the heck am I supposed to measure well wavelength is actually measured from crest to crest so the crest of course is the maximum height of the wave which on this wave it would be here and on this wave it would be here so from point A to point B that distance right there would be the wavelength of this wave right here. Now the last uh, term I want to talk to you guys about in this tutorial is amplitude. So again, imagine that we're looking at the ocean. Now the surface of the ocean on a calm day is nice and flat just like that. However, on a really windy day, we get some waves. So the waves would be like, okay, something like you know the ocean probably doesn't look exactly like that but it's pretty close so anyways what exactly is amplitude well amplitude is defined as the distance from the tip of the wave and the tip is technically called the crest of the wave or some people call it maximum displacement but anyways it's the distance from the tip of the wave which would be I'm getting a new color right here to the rest position of the wave. Now the rest position is basically the position whenever the wave is at rest or the water is calm. So this from, actually I might as well do A and B since I did it in the last time. So A to B would be the amplitude. So again remember the difference between these two points. A and C would be the wavelength and the distance from A and B would be the amplitude of the wave.